Another accommodation option you can avail yourself of at Sugar Beach is Sulu Sunset Resort. And this is further down towards the end of the beach. And I was talking in another video about Tukataka, about these nets that they have to put up to create a break wind, because otherwise all the vegetation gets tore up. And Michelle told me, because they were talking to uh, the boat operator yesterday, that in August and September they can't even take the boats out because the wind is so high, it just basically makes taking the boats out impossible. So let's take a quick tour of Sulu Sunset. Alright, so at Sulu Sunset they got a pool table. They have Wi-Fi. And in my opinion, the kitchen is probably the best on the beach. Um, the proprietor's name is Jean, and she's married to a German gentleman. And Jean is quite the cook. She is quite the chef. The food here is very good. Um, it's reasonably priced, and even though we've been staying at Tukataka, we've been basically eating every meal down here. Um, because it's basically a trip down memory lane, because this is the first place that me and Michelle went to on, on Sugar Beach. And over yonder is... And they have good pizza. So if you're here, get the pizza. Also, the chicken curry is slamming. He's got a wood-fired uh, oven here. And they had it fired up yesterday. They were making pizzas and fresh bread. All the bread here is homemade. And they have two types of accommodation. They have these bungalows, these larger bungalows over here to the right. Um, and they also have these smaller bungalows to the left. And me and Michelle, Michelle and I, stayed in one of the smaller bungalows. And we're going to talk to Yogi, he's the proprietress's husband, and we'll see if we can take a little quick tour of the accommodations. Okay, so here's one of the larger bungalows here at Sulu Sunset. It's got a foot wash outside here. On the porch it's got its own hammock. It's got a little seating area out yonder. And the breeze coming off the water, the water is like literally right here. The breeze is really nice. So these are all fan, fan rooms here at Sulu Sunset. There's no air con. And this is one of the rooms. It's not made up. Yogi just said go ahead and shoot. They're open up. This was uh, the only empty one. And wow, it's got a Linksys router right here. And it's got some shelving over here. And the bathroom has a toilet, a sink, and the shower has a hot water heater. So you got hot water, you got a fan, it's got a ceiling fan up top here, and it's all NEPA, so you got good ventilation, you got a good cross airflow air in here. And it's got a queen size bed. And what's cool is, they got these little lights, little reading lights. This is the main light, and they got the reading lights on both sides of the headboard. So you don't disturb your significant other if you want to read. It's also got the fan controls here for the ceiling fan. And this is the one we should have taken when me and Michelle were here because it's not that much more expensive. This whole big sliding door opens up. Um, it's got screens in the windows and it's nice. And See, you get the nice airflow up there too on the ceiling. So this is the bigger bungalow. We'll go check out one of the smaller ones now. This is the smaller bungalow at Sulu Sunset. It also has a hammock. The hammock is up right now because this place is unoccupied. It's got the outside foot bath to get the sand off your tootsies. It's got a little deck out front here. But with the smaller ones, you don't get the ocean view. You basically get the view of the larger bungalow. Inside, we have a queen size bed, fan control. Again, is at the headboard, as are the reading lamps on each side. You got a little rattan 
shelving unit. Back here is the shower, and it's got it's got a water heater, but the water heater is outside. It's out back. Got a big shower, big shower area, sink, to do hay, and toilet with the seat up. Should have put that down before I did the video. Poor production values. And again, you get good airflow because this is all open up here. You get the window back here, and. So this is a smaller one for those folks on a budget here at Sulu Sunset. And actually, we got to do a video on the mango shake. We'll get right, we'll get to that right now. Drink it and show like a very. This right here <laughs> is the finest, bestest mango shake, not only in the Philippines but in the world. <laughs> yes. And Michelle is partaking of the mango shake. And Jean actually told us the secret ingredients that are in the mango shake. So why don't you tell us what, what's in it? I uh, know. <laughs> That's my gold secret. <laughs> secret. Um, one whole mango. One whole mango. And instead of using condensed milk and evaporated milk, you use um, powdered milk. Powdered milk? Bourbon. Yeah, bourbon. And ice, right? Ice, sugar, yeah, of course. And some sugar. So that just those four simple ingredients, they squeeze a whole mango into this thing, and it's delicious. It was my first addiction in the Philippines. Mango Shake, Sulu Sunset Resort, no joke. The only problem with this is once you have one of these, every other mango shake that you get is going to want by comparison. So this is Ned, Corey, Dina, over here at My Philippine Dreams, and Michelle. <laughs> we'll see you next time.